Hi everyone. So uh, today's session is going to be about the first stage in business when you are starting out for the first time, or even in, uh, even when you are in business for several years and you are making some good money. Even then, this phase is the first phase that you need to optimize. Many people are not able to optimize because of lack of knowledge or information or experience. So I'm going to talk about that phase today, and that phase is related to you know yesterday we covered the topic that we need to be able to control computers and you know that doesn't sound like a right word controlling computers um, but that's the bottom line you have to be able to control computers and one of the computers is the brain right so we need to be able to entrepreneurs job is to persuade people right influence people uh, in order to make uh, in order to have a vision in order to make a vision a reality and this phase is the very first stage that you need to optimize right the sales process persuasion process so right sales process has basically three phases first you have to optimize an organic sales process that's number one right so today's session is go going to be about sales process right number one phase number one in uh, optimizing the sales process you have to optimize your organic sales process organic sales process phase number two once you have uh, uh, perfected this organic sales process comes second phase where you have to start automating the sales process you don't automate the entire sales process right away many people make a mistake of doing that and they run into a lot of frustration and they have to invest a lot of energy time right if you do it systematically and the right way would be to partially automate right partially automate plus partially automation consists of you know building some part or uh, uh, you know uh, instead of trying to have the sales process entirely manually you want to automate some parts of it and then you have to have people you have to build a team of people build team sales people right sales team who handle the manual parts of the sales process right so some parts of the sales is automated right some parts are automated and then some parts are de are dealt manually and though and that manual work is done by the sales team not you some of the work can be done by you if you're uh, still working on optimizing it right but once you have completely op uh, optimized this organic sales process then the manual work needs to be done by a team of people for example this prospecting work you should not do the prospect i'll explain more things later on once we actually dive into the topic uh, in later webinars but for now uh, this webinar i'm going to focus on the organic sales process right but i'm just covering the three three stages right so the third stage is building funnel and then full automation and we can we can split that in two parts as well building funnel is one part right it can also be you know partial automation you know they can be both related but when when i when i talk about phase one it's like it's not a complete funnel you are just still experimenting in that phase right and you're continuously optimizing it but in the next phase you have built a complete funnel and then you automate complete automation complete automation best handwriting in the world right so <clears throat> these are the phases that you need to go through and if you try to jump if you try to jump right into this phase fourth phase many people do that mistake they invest a lot of time energy and they get very little results and they waste money on running ads or those type of things or other things right if they try to build funnels again they make they they invest six months of time and then they find out that their funnel is not converting right don't want to do don't want to jump around this uh, these phases the first phase is to optimize the organic sales process so how do you do that so this webinar is about that specifically right now 
I was talking yesterday. I, talk, I talked about the first. Right, first is the brain. Brain consists of you know uh, control, being able to control brain means you are able to control your own mind. You have to persuade yourself as well, right? That something can you have to break your limiting beliefs. That's a uh, self persuasion, self motivation, right? And then you 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 need to be able to control other people as well. For example, president of the country or prime minister of the country is able to control entire country, and that's why he's the most powerful person in entire country. But an entrepreneur, for example, CEO of Google or a director or whoever, right? He can control his entire company, and uh, you know he can he cannot control some people like the directors or or the board of right so he needs to persuade them he is not able to control them directly right he can control the workers but other people he needs to uh, people who are on top of him he cannot control them directly so he has to persuade them in order to control them in order to influence them right similarly your job is to be able to persuade people and the way you do it right or sorry persuasion right the way you do it you need several tools you need um or actually um i'm getting confused with my content here so um you need several tools you need to be good at sales right second you need to be good at uh, making videos third public speaking right one on one sales versus public speaking one on one sales versus versus public speaking right if you are doing public speaking you can influence multiple people at once if you are doing one on one sales the same amount of time you can influence just one person right fourth digital marketing right digital marketing fifth is building funnels automation they're not in the order of priority they're in random order but these are the five elements that you need right if you just master this one you will never have money problem just just one part and if you master all of them you'll be easily making more than a hundred thousand dollars a month right hundred thousand dollars a month no big deal right but if you if you don't master all of them if you don't master all of these you just master this one the first part you will never have money problems ever again in your life right so what's the strategy what's the art of how can we optimize our organic sales process right that's the next question so the answer to that question is basically you need to be able to uh, so very simple strategy right very simple strategy optimizing organic sales process you need to learn sales from from who from experts right you need to learn sales instead of trying to learn sales yourself you need to learn sales from experts right however you don't want to learn sales from just any type of sales expert there are many different types of sales experts you need to be able to identify them which person comes in which type of category when you are optimizing your sales process you want to learn sales from only specific types of experts later on once you have optimized your organic sales process or you don't have money problems anymore that's the time when you can learn from other sales other types of sales experts as well but when you have lack of energy lack of lack of patience lack of money lack of patience lack of money lack of time you're in survival mode right you are in survival mode you need to be able to eat food pay your rent pay your bills uh take care of your family expenses 
that's a time when you need to be able to learn from specific types of experts who are these experts right so you need to be able to learn persuasion from people who are really good at cold selling there are people who are good at cold selling people who are good at warm selling warm uh, converting warm prospects right and then uh, in this category there are multiple types of people and even in this category there are multiple types of people right you don't want to first of all you want to eliminate all those people who are good at warm selling you don't want to learn from them right away you can learn from them later on right once you have learned from these people first but when you are investing your energy for the first time you want to make sure you make biggest progress the only way to make biggest progress is that you learn from people who are good at cold selling and there are multiple types of people even in cold selling right <clears throat> so what you want to do is right so so uh, first of all why cold selling right why why not warm selling why, warm selling people are easier to convert we uh, you know we get paid quicker right so let me clarify that why not warm selling first why cold selling right so warm selling so a warm audience warm audience is like a gold mine right they are easy to convert people who are easy to convert they are a gold mine right they are easy to convert quick to convert easy quick to convert however if you think that you have a gold mine and you can just extract gold from it without even having any type of technology you are kidding yourself right you need to have the technology first be have you need the machines the drillers the you know everything you need the system if you try to go gold mine and you try to blast the gold mine to open up the you know right the reserves you're going to destroy everything you're you're going to destroy the relationships right you are not going to be able to convert them that gold mine will go to waste it will be wasted warm audience is limited in number cold cold audience is unlimited entire world is cold for you right and warm audience is limited limited and the limited audience easy to convert they are easy to convert that's why they are a gold mine so you want to make sure you make a good use of it how can you do that you can do that only when you have perfected your sales process and how do you perfect your sales process how do you build muscle you go to gym and you lift heavy weights weights that are harder for you to lift you lift them you build muscle so people who are harder to convert you try to convert them first harder to convert once you have done that once you have perfected your once you have understood the concepts in selling persuasion that's when you try to sell to warm audience and warm audience can be two types of people people who are who know you right who know you already or people who don't know you but they are interested in specific type of offer if you provide them with that service or whatever they are looking for then they will pay you both of them i mean this this is not warm this is not called warm this is called hot leads hot leads and these people who know you already or who have done business with you your past clients or people who are just in your circle or people who are friends of friends all of them they are warm audience they are not hot leads but they are warm audience but they are easy to convert if they are not easy to convert if you don't know how to sell but they are very easy to convert if you know how to sell right so both of these type of people warm audience and hot leads they are easy to convert however if you try to dig into that gold mine before optimizing your sales sales product through cold selling you're wasting your reserves of energy now next question cold selling experts i don't want to take names of people i don't want to promote them on my video you know for um legal reasons right but i'm just giving you some idea cold selling experts you can find them easily find them on google right do your own research you can easily find them but the point here is there are multiple types of experts in cold selling you want to be able to learn you want to learn from only those experts 
who are able to convert people in first encounter meaning their feedback loop length is extremely short feedback loop length i've covered this in previous videos previous webinars i'll be covering again in future webinars but the point is that their feedback loop length is extremely extremely short and those are the people you want to learn from if you try to learn sales yourself you are basically starting from you know 20 uh, you know you you are starting from stone age era you're not using the 21st century what, what will happen if you don't use the technology that other people have already built if you don't use your laptop don't use your uh, smartphone you try to build your own laptop and smartphone what will happen then you're basically starting your journey from stone age era other people have already done their work use their their work speed up your progress that's how you build and grow your business quicker if you try to do everything yourself you feel like you know sales you can just learn sales yourself without taking help from people sure you can also build a laptop without the help of other manufacturers right but what will happen if you try to build a laptop i'm sitting in front of laptop that's why i came up with this example but it could be any technology it can be car if you try to build your own car instead of you know just purchasing car from a manufacturer what will happen then you will take 20 years to build it right same thing with sales don't try to learn sales yourself learn it from other experts and especially when that's going to resolve your money problems so with that i want to end the session no purpose uh, no santa banta papu stories today apologize for that i was not in the uh, zone today so i uh, end the webinar i just want to recap one more time um <clears throat> You want to, there are three phases in uh, sales. Phase one, you want to op optimize your organic sales process. Organic sales process. Two is you want to autom start automation, partial automation by building sales team and automating other parts of your sales process. Partial automation. For example, Partial aut uh, automation means that, for example, right now you are uh, doing the sales process one-on-one. -on -one. You are trying to deliver everything yourself, right? Partial automation would mean that instead of trying to do everything yourself, you create a video. First, you have to do everything yourself because you have to understand what triggers what reactions. When you say what exact words, how you say them, it triggers what exact reactions in the mind of the person once you understand that you can easily create a video or a training material or, or something like that or anything else uh, not necessarily a video it could be training material pdf file or anything right that's aligned with your sales process and that's called partial automation this is not funnel this is not funnel right this is just one part of the funnel right so it's a partial automation you build a sales team and you do partial automation, you further optimize the sales process. Then you build funnel. Third stage is the build funnel. Then fourth, fourth stage is complete automation. Complete automation. Complete automation. And the skills that you need, you know, all these three phases need only five core elements number one is persuasion skill uh, number two is the um, video making number three public speaking skill right public speaking skill speaking word is missing here you can visualize the speaking word here right public uh, video skill right four is the uh, digital marketing digital marketing fifth is the um fifth was what fifth was um what was the fifth one can anyone tell me from funnel, funnel yeah building funnel 
right and when you are trying to optimize the organic sales process you want to start with cold selling and you want to learn it number one you want to start with cold selling and number two you want to learn it from experts who are really good with cold selling experts who are really good with really good with cold selling and who are whose feedback loop is very short they are able to convert people people very very quickly right those are the type of people you want to learn from don't try to learn sales yourself so i'll let you guys ask me any questions hello yeah you. yeah karthik yeah tell me about i didn't understand this feedback loop length tell me one sure thing. sure so feedback loop length means that when you are performing for example you see dance performers on tv right for how long do they perform they perform for like 3 minutes right and when yes. they perform their dance people are left in awe their movements every movement every expression every maneuver that they make is simply mm -hmm. amazing right and they make uh, they make such complex maneuvers look so easy people are left in awe but how much practice do you think they put in for that 3 3 months of performance few hours of practice no right they put months of practice months of practice right but and in that months of practice they have done how many iterations let's say they have done, done 1000 iterations of improvements 1000 improvement iterations improvement not just any type of iterations not just practice iterations i'm talking about improvement iterations right Uh, improvement plus practice both right but if the same performance is 30 minutes long 30 minutes long right if the dance performance is 3 minutes long versus if the dance performance is 30 minutes long then will will they be able to perform as many number of iterations no right in the same period of time let's say they they spent 6 months in 6 months they did 1000 iterations but that was because it was only a 3 minute performance if it's a 30 minute performance they are not able to do 1000 iterations they will be able to do 100 iterations okay right yeah. and that's a problem because the quality of you know the quality of that performance will not be as good as this performance because this performance had 1000 iterations and this performance had only 100 iterations so the quality of this performance will be lesser quality of this performance will be higher that's the length of the feedback loop feedback loop length is 3 minutes right here feedback loop length is 30 minutes so when we are trying to reduce the you know when we are applying the concept of latency reduction which i will explain later on basically we are focusing on reducing this length of the feedback loop that's what i meant by the feedback loop yes i think it's issue yep any any other uh, any other questions from anyone else yeah yes sir okay yeah, yeah prasoon prasoon can go first yeah so just uh, continuing on the feedback loop length right so so you saying for the 3 minute performance there is a higher loop length is a Three three minute is a smaller loop. Thirty minutes is a bigger loop. Okay. So and the number of iterations. Through the iterations. Okay. Yes, the number of so iterations for a smaller loop will be higher. Okay. For the same period of time. Okay. Got it. Okay. Sagar, you were asking a question. Yes, yeah, so may I know about that uh, building funnel process? You uh, uh, describe some uh, core elements of sales, right? So I know. Do I know about that thing? Building funnel. What exactly do you want to know? Any anything specific you want to know about building funnel? No, actually, what it is. 
I just want to know. Okay, okay. I think you didn't restrict this thing, right? Okay, understood. So, so funnel, uh, you know, for some for some people, funnel is an alien word because they have not heard about it. So, let me clarify what a funnel is. Right, funnel is just a fully automated sales process. For example, when you are doing sales one on one, right, you are delivering a performance. You are saying the the words. You are giving the right pause at the right time. Right, uh, all those all those things, words, body language, expressions, words, body language, expressions. You are doing sales one on one. However, if you are doing the sales one on one all the time, you will be able to convert only few people at a time, one one person at a time. Right, and that's a slower process. So, is there a way to automate this process? This is manual process sales, and can be automated. So, the way we automate it is by building funnels, and funnel is nothing but just the same exact process of sales, but delivered in the form of landing pages, videos, you know, small action items, emails. Ads. So funnel consists of multiple things. It can consist of landing page. Right, I'm uh, writing the word in sh uh, words in short because this video is not related to funnels. I'm just answering one question from 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 Sagar. Right. Uh, so funnel consists of multiple people. Landing pages. It can consist of ads. It can consist of emails. So all of these. You know there are more uh, more things as well. So all of this ju is just a fancy name funnel, and funnel the name is there because you know you start with wide range of people audience, and then you get them to take small small actions, and as you as they take more and more actions, their uh, volume is reduced. Right. So they start with like hundred people, let's say hundred people. And then the more actions they take, uh, the lesser people remain. So out of hundred people, they go to land landing page. Only seventy people convert, and then they take another action. They watch video. Only thirty people go to the next phase, and then they uh, they get emails. Only like let's say fifteen people convert. So that's why it's called funnel because you know it's in the shape of, um, you know we do the analogy uh, analogy, and uh, not able to say that word. An uh, analogy, right? With uh, with this funnel, that's why it's called funnel. It's just a fancy name, right? 